Guys, am I live? You can go, I'm live. I don't see myself here. Okay. So, hi there, everybody. Hope you can see me and hear me. Hi, spirits, please confirm there because here, oh my, <laughs> not till the RPG limit break stopped. Okay. So, my name is Ladov. I'm the good uh, streamer, of course, from Dragon Quest. Dragon Quest is actually my first uh, speed run, got me into speed running. And I played Dragon Quest. Finished it already some, since long. Most here did that too, as well, I believe. And yeah, oh, so <laughs> now I see finally the text come. Are you live, guy? Come on. Yeah, so now I'm live. So let's do this. This is Dragon Quest 1 for the Switch. Uh, it's pretty, pretty. I, I do lots of runs on this one and on the second one also for the Switch. Uh, let's, let's do this. So, first things first. This remake here. For those of you that are fans of the, the classic, it has one big fault, and it's like this. Create a new adventure. Everybody that knows Dragon Quest 1 and knows that, like in the death and this, knows that the way you name the character is sort of how you roll your 3d6, right? It's, it gives your stats, HP, agility, strength. The, the crew from the Dragon Quest randomizer, right? They know that. You need to know ah, which one do you want. Do you want strength, agility, strength, HP? The problem is that the Western version, including if you play it in Chinese, doesn't matter. I also have the recording in Chinese. Uh, I lost it to the Japanese because of this situation that I'm telling now. The way, the way you give the, give the name, should be as in the Super Famicom, because it's based on the Super Famicom code. So it should be four possible uh, kinds of characters. You should have the strength and HP, the strength and agility, the HP MP and the agility MP, meaning that's the highest stats from these characters. But the Western version has a problem with the calculations, so that you, every time you should have a strength HP or an agility MP guy, you land with the strength agility guy. And you need to use this guy to win the game. You can't in at level 17. You can't use the HPMP one, it has too, too low attack. You have to go with the, the higher one. So my name, if I put Ladob, it gives the, the, that one. And this is great. So I use it. Uh, and for the Brazilians out there, galera que for brasileira aí, and for the Brazilians or the football player, the, the ones that like football soccer, uh, if you put Pelé, it's attack. If you put Pelé with an H in the end, as if it was the accent, then it's the HPMP. So that's a good tip if you want to try both builds. Let's do this. So now I start. I'm going to go very classic. If you put a Z, which is the name many people use when they do a run on the user one, uh, first one for the NES, you get the strength and agility. One that we need for this run. Let's do this. Time starts. Uh, when I confirm here. So please, high spirits, you can start when I say I'm gonna count down one. Three, two, one, go. So there we are. First things first. The first things that we have to do is get naked and stuffed with a sack full of, of crap. Let's do this. So now we go here, get our stuff and get out of here very fast. The usual Super Famicom run do, does what is called the Dragon Loop to do the grind to get XP. We don't do this here. We do something different, which I'm going to show. But like I said, first thing first, first thing we need to do is get naked. So now we get a bit of stuff. We go buy lots of stuff. Lots of her. Well, now we gotta, we're going to like feel it. Herbs, more herbs, more, give me more, more herbs, like a lot. You need all the herbs you can muster, because we are going to get a lot of pounding <laughs> that we, you have to. Now we get a dragon scale for a very specific reason, which I'm going to explain later. And now we buy torches, which was why I managed it was the reason why I managed it to reroute this because uh, the first people trying to run this was late starboard creative valley they used the, the classic dragon loop to beat this and 
I discovered that you uh, let's get naked. So not even a weapon. We go with have any uh, the dragon scale exactly just for kicks. Let's go. Yeah, and now now we do the trick. This is a very specific run. You have to play it very exactly. Like notice, I make this one mistake here, like walking a bit too much. This is line, and. With the attack build, I'm able to kill this slime. With the other build, I can't. <laughs> it does too little damage. <laughs> and now I flee, and now there comes actually the secret to the whole run, which is quick saving. Zack! We quick save, stop the game, hard reset. Notice that I really closed the game, and start the game again. When we do that, we always get the same order of enemies. So I know I'm gonna meet this Scorpion. I know he's gonna do exactly this damage. And I know that if I have a Dragon Scale, I have this one HP there. <laughs> and then I'm capable of killing it with the torches that I threw. And that, that's why I call this run the Metal Torsion, because you torch everything included in slimes. And then you, oh no! <laughs> Oh no, this was a run killer. <laughs> no problem, forgot to, to heal there. No, but that's not a big deal. Okay, no, not PBing, guys. Sorry. <laughs> not PBing. I can load the quick save and do it again. Not a problem. <laughs> so let's do it again. I, uh, yeah, I have to heal myself here, of course. Ah, every time I want to PB live, when I'm explaining the run, I don't manage it. Sorry. No pressure. Anyway, continuing. So I get my level 2, and then I use the herb. Like I said, I need to use herbs a lot. And then I start to get damage here. Notice that I get damage sooner, and I have to do that. And now we have another trick, which is this one here. If we use a herb here, I cancel an encounter, and then I encounter only one guy. One guy that I need to encounter, which is this one, thanks. Late Starbird for this uh, because she was the one that found the streak with the herb, and so that you could kill this guy very fast and get to level three pretty fast. So now I'm already level three and going to uh, to remove the art to get the keys. Those of you who played Dragon Quest One already, you know that getting these keys is key, uh, pun unintended. Uh, to getting a lot of stuff, and that's true in this run as well. Like I said, given that I know what's gonna happen, I know if I can flee, if I can attack, but that depends on me walking a very specific path, including the terrain that I decide to walk on. If I walk, for example, on a mountain, especially mountains, forests affect a bit less. I changed the range again, so you have to be very aware of what we're doing. So now we buy six keys, which is the maximum that you can have, and pretty conveniently also all that we need to finish the game. Now we get out and in again, and we get the first... This is something that does not exist on the NES version, which are these seeds that give attack, life, and we do need them to to beat the game but now we lose the one seed but there is a there's some there's one thing we want the seeds to give their maximum value or almost the max and for that we also have to play very specific here we have to go exactly like i'm doing here and do another trick it's coming just a sec so works like this i go here this here would be what I call split one, when you get the sunstone. Zack. Take care that I don't talk to this guy again, because... Yay! So, I lost a minute because of that uh, reload. If, every time you, mi you mess up with a quick save, it's a minute co of, of cost. The, the split where I m mostly reset when doing a... Uh, run is this one. So now you go and then suck one step to the side and then all the seeds give everything maxed but one of them but that's okay. And now enough of walking naked around 
thanks Creative Valley for this, he discovered a way to kill the first slime, because when I discovered the right, how to kill slimes, which I'm gonna show you, uh, we, I discovered that we could kill only the second slime using a torch. And the first slime had always to flee. But Ellie came up with a trick. That trick is pretty powerful. And I'm gonna show it to you. The trick made the, the run be even faster, guys. Even faster. Let's go! We go now. Hey, get out of my way. Let me just see if I'm really equipped with everything. Here. Because now that I don't have a. Come on. Yeah. Now that I can't PB, I don't worry too much. So, in the city, and this is something new that I discovered. I didn't know that before. Now I'm sure of it. In the city, you don't move range. Unless it's Hawkness because it counts as an engine. And if you do the path as, as I'm doing now, I know that I meet this slime. I know it's not gonna let me flee easily, so I have to better kill him. And I know I'm gonna meet this guy, and as long as I do exactly the same path, it's just, playing this in a speed run is the opposite of playing Dragon Quest Randomizer, which I also love, by the way. You know exactly what's gonna happen, and if it does not happen as, for example, this guy's gonna heal me, uh, heal himself, and then he's gonna let me go. He's pretty nice. Now I meet his cousin, which is even nicer. He lets me go right away. Yay, thank you very much. I'm still just a minute too late for the party, no problem. We make the quick save here. And now we start what, with what I call the slime grind. The slime grind, you guys can try to guess how many slimes do we have to kill in the grind. So this is slime number one. Thanks, Ellie! You did it, man! Attack, attack... And now there comes the trick. You use your sword, does nothing, and then attack again. Then you use a herb. Notice that I have 2 HP if I didn't have the armor, and both both armor, I would die now. And look at this. Now, guys, party. Doo -doo. Now we get to level 8. And that's also a fun thing here, fun notice. We only get to level 8 because we kill that little slime there at the start that has 2 XP. Otherwise, we are always missing exactly 2 XP for level 8. So this is slime number 1. Huh? Now I'm level 8. <laughs> this is yeah this is really cool so now let's get that level eight come on more levels more more levels thank you and now we go for slime number two which is here there he is he dies differently i have to attack three times or torch him but i don't use torches any longer only for one slime and then you have to heal or snooze in this case it's better to use the herb you don't use spells here because snooze is faster than healing. And this is a trick that I still have to use on my Chinese run so that I get a much better time and go up on the tables. I didn't, I didn't redo it with my new roots still. So now I get level 9 and here we discovered a very cool trick that was from late Starboard that I don't need to save anything. Every time you kill an enemy, it's automatically a quick save. So I can just... but you have to kill it. If you flee, it doesn't count. So now I can just load the autosave, and there we go. The fun starts again. Attack. Attack. Use the Cooper Sword, attack again. Now I snooze him because I want more speed, right? I, don't, I know that this run is not perfect any longer, but it doesn't matter. I'm going to do it as, as good as I can. And he's dead. And that my HP is pretty low. I have to be careful here. I get to level 10. Uh, this is the this is a pretty hard part of the run concentration-wise. Because you have to be, to be very aware of what you're doing. One, two, three. Because for example, this slime can be killed with two attacks and then using something and then three attacks. But you take more damage if you do it like that. And therefore you have to be pay attention to always stack three times. You have to know which slime I'm fighting because it's so many slimes that you sort of forget. You forget how many slimes and then you think that you have to use tactic one 
and then the slime flees or kills you. So you have to be careful here. So this was slime two. Now I repeat and load the auto save again. Notice though that this is possible in the SFC version two. Okay, this is also possible there. The best record is Japanese using exactly these tricks. And uh, it doesn't work like that, though it's way more complicated to, to get the, the manipulation. Uh, I almost nail it. I don't really... I, I still have to train a lot to get it on the SFC. But you can do it. You can slime grind like I'm doing here on the SFC too. But like I said, it's very hard. It's very, very, very hard. Okay, so this is the second one. One thing that I, I like this, you can't imagine people, well, like you can't imagine in fact, because you are all speedrunners too, or you like speedrunning, like, oh, I, made, I almost made a mistake here. <laughs> uh, we had to do a lot of rerouting from this run, like lots of rerouting all the time. How many slimes? When do we kill the slimes? When do we do the grind? Do we go back, get some torsion skill slimes? Oh no, we go, we don't go. Uh, when do we use MP, when we don't use the MP? Yeah, the current route has quite some advantages. One of them being that you always get your level up, uh, except once you always get the level up with the second slime. And this helps know where, where you are. So now I know I'm on the first slime. I just got a level up, so I'm on, this must be the first slime. And one good thing on this run too is that given that you are always quick saving, if you mess up, you can reload and then continue from where you were. Uh, like I said, every reload is one minute that you are going to be worse on your run. Uh, on the first grind, you don't care where you are fighting. But on the second grind, you have to care a lot where you are fighting. Yes. Oof, I almost forgot that too. And now I survive barely. So now there comes a part of the run which, which is interesting. And that's a very interesting part of the run which uses new tricks, other tricks. Let me show this to you guys. So now we go get the Lyre of Ire. Notice that we do not even sleep and slept only once until now. And now there comes the second time that I sleep on the game. So now we have to be careful to use the greener path. You have to walk as green as possible. If you don't walk green, you mess up the run again. So be careful. <laughs> now it's fun. Now it's fun because it's like this. <laughs> you have to be turbo mode here because there is one NPC that is very, very fast. If, if you don't be careful, he blocks you. It's not a problem because like I said, in the cities, it's like, it's it's here. This fucker, no! Yes. <laughs> Woo. He usually move way faster than that. <laughs> he closes us, <laughs> but they managed to get, like in the city, it doesn't really matter, but now it matters again. Every step I do wrong here, I'm screwed. One, two, three, four, there we go. And here, here I'm trying my current, uh, Let's say uh, for the jo the Deutsch guy there, Baustilen, <laughs> in this run is this place here, cause there is a the uh, the trick to not generate encounters that I showed you guys on that other place. We use it to Lilo. We use it actually only once in the entire run, and I am almost sure we can use it more. Okay, especially because of the seed that I just uh, got which is useless you don't need this seed if you are playing the japanese version uh, i believe I, I i have a root change here i miss two steps tuck tuck yes because i discovered that this is better just before starting the marathon here oh this is a cool trick you go here get back get out you reset the encounter count. This is also used in Dragon Quest 3, by the way, for those running it. And you meet nobody here, and you can go happily here and continue the run. If my new tactic worked, 
I should be able to... No, it didn't work. I, I need to use the steps somewhere else. I should not have met this guy. That's only because of the extra two steps. I note that I can do some kind of, of step stuff here to, to have one encounter less. I have to nail it now. I have to go look at my VODs because I did it just a few days ago. No, just a few days ago yesterday. But there we go. This is the other split. Not that bad. I'm still only sort of a minute. Bad. And now we go to the... Ah, now this is always complicated. This is another place where I have to get the... Slime, slime, slime. Damn it. If you move right here and I still didn't nail it, you get the slime. And then you can flip on it. It's faster than if you do what I did now. Well, because that ghost, he doesn't let you flee. So you have to attack it. Um... Now I should meet a few random enemies. It's not that bad. This is just the path to slime tube. This guy is not necessary. You don't really need to meet him. If you do some cool maneuvering, which I sadly didn't pull off today. This guy is very common to show up. Yeah. So now it's grind chew time. Oh, this guy's mean. This guy's not good. Yeah. So, grind chew is more complicated. Grind chew is evil. Okay? Grind chew is evil. For many reasons. First, you have to move very exactly. You have to be exactly where you need to be all the time. You have to know how much you need to heal very specifically too. For example, now I don't need to heal, so I snooze here. All right, let's go. It's it's a this this second grind is uh, it can be a bit tiresome. So one, just a second, and now I need a bit of concentration. Two, three. The second grind is the hardest. Heal. Because you need to keep your hit points at at least at 77. And you need to use that seed. That seed that we just got. We need to use it and it must give maximum points. Oh look, the trick works again. We get the level up at the right moment. And now we have to use that seed. You can't forget it. If you forget that seed, run is over. <laughs> You, then it's really a, a run killer. Forgetting that seed is a run killer. Okay, so now you have to move one step to the side. Use the seed. These screws up with the position of the slimes. Now they are not going to be where they should. Attack, attack. And it's like this. Now, as you can see, I have to concentrate more here. <laughs> and it's like this. You want to... And at a very exact position twice during this moment here. You, we want to land exactly two steps from where I am now. Here. So you try to always have your encounters here. So now it's good. One. Two. Three. So now I, can, I need to heal again, like I said. You have to heal a lot because you must keep seven, uh, above 77 all the time. There we go. So this was slime two, which does not give me a level up. It's this is an this is the exception that I said, and it's still helpful because this expe exception means you know, oh, I didn't get level up, so I must go to one two one three, and now I get that level up. One two, oh, 74. Ah! No, not good. Heal. Yes. <laughs> there we go. And now it's like this. I discovered something new. Like this week. I discovered how to kill the the knight directly without a need to for a reload. But that's not working with the rest of the run. If you move in this forest, you meet an enemy. If you don't, you don't. So now if I 
if I make a mistake here, I actually can fight the knight directly without a quick save, but that would not work. Uh, it would not work later on because I have to clean the RAM still. There are mistakes that happen when I use this technique, so I'm still uh, moving it. So now we're gonna do what they call the classic path, which is to just kill this guy attacking and attacking and attacking and attacking more. For those of you that would like to try this run but don't want to play that long, 37 minutes and so, you can try the Princess Percent, which is the run where we just save the Princess. And on that run, you really kill the dragon. And there's a very funny thing there. Uh, wait just a sec. Check. Clip. Yeah. So, let me show a trick here for, before I talk about that more. So here now we continue here happily and now we meet a slime look at that but this guy here is a slime two it's not slime one slime two one two three and now we can use all these news but that, as i was saying during the princess percent uh we Kill the knight there at level 13, guys. Okay, thanks to Mike Loves Retro for that. Shout out for him. He discovered uh, the path for that to kill on level 13. And it's pretty cool. You, you kill the knight very, very soon in the run. And then you go and you give the dragon a bath because we kill him throwing holy waters. <laughs> we only throw holy waters at him, lots of them. It's a very fun run to play. I even made a drawing based on that. It's on the Discord. Let's do this. And now I have to keep the concentration again. There we go. So now it's another of these moments where you have to be careful. I want to be here by the time I meet somebody. Oh, look at that. It happened. One. Two. Free. Snooze. So the run, honestly, if it was not for that mistake at the start, it's I'm not playing very well, actually. But it's not bad either. It's like an okay -ish run, a good run to show you guys how this works. So let's go. Now we continue. This is fun because you, it's always on the bridge. And then you can do the classic attack. Attack, attack. And then you use the Cooper Sword. Attack again. And then the Snooze. Maybe I want to heal at least once. Attack, attack. And now you have to keep that uh, pattern. Keep the pattern for a few more. So now, as you can see, it doesn't work the same way. Keep the pattern. Oh, I didn't. I didn't. Now, yes. One, two, three. I'm gonna heal now, just for safety reasons. So, for me, the worst part of the run comes now was uh, after when i get level 17 wait it's not now i need at least two more if you mess up fighting the second slime then you are sort of a bit screwed with the planning okay this is this is a uh, bad this is bad if you, if you mess up on the second slime because because of what i'm gonna show right now like let me go, let me just, just a little bit more concentration, people, sorry. Attack, snooze. Now attack, now it's good. Attack, attack, attack. Because for, like I said, to beat the Dragon Lord at level 17, you must get the strength seeds. Uh, there are many runs that do not get, the, there's some, for example, my sleepless route, where you sleep only once. It gets the, it doesn't need that. But you have to get to level 18, so you have to beat the golem too, or alternatively five slimes, which is faster, actually. But you don't need to go get the, the seed. 
But in this one, you have to get the seed. And the seed has to get the maximum points. And that's a pain. That's really a pain. I'm gonna show you why. This, this seed, the strength seed, is the only seed that does not follow the damned rule of move one step to the side, I give you the max. It does not follow that rule. So you have to get it on another way. And we had to find out how to do that, thanks to Yuji san which is probably the best Switch, Dragon Quest 1 Switch player there is, for finding out how, which was with a very specific path coming from the Metal Slime. And uh, you have to do exactly that. Like, there are some variations that can be done, but they are, you know, like, usually just do it. <laughs> okay. And then you get at least two attack. One, two. Probably now. Yeah. Because this is the final one, yes. Oh, now it's news. This is the final one. So now it's like this. I'm exactly here. This is the second slime. If it was the first, then you have to use another path. And now it may be that I screw it anyway. Okay, it may be that I screw it anyway. Because it's very, very difficult to remember all the path because it's so long. You have to go and go. And you have to flee from the guys at the right moment. It's, uh, it's a bit of a... This part is not so much fun. But like I said, the run can be done without, without all that stuff too. You can just like quick save. Like that, there's their plan Bs for this. One of them is using the seed within a fight. Instead of killing an enemy, use the seed, and then you can, you can, it gets, gives, usually gives two. So now we move here, use the holy protection, because now we don't want to fight slimes any longer. So now we go here. I usually do this path here. I hope it's this one. Now I have to use the holy protection again. So we are now on the final stretch. I hope I didn't do any mistake on the path. I always forget one or the other tile here. So let's go this. So that's it, guys. This is it. This is the worst moment in the run. This is the final time that we sleep. And then we go here. Get the seed and use it. And it screwed me over. Damn it. Now we have to go for plan B. I did something. I forgot the one little forest by the swamp cave. That was it. Okay, so two major mistakes. Sorry, but it's not that bad because now you see plan B. Let's go for plan B. Plan B works like this. You get the seed here, and then you go here, get out of this. Oh, this guy, this, there's a special thing here. This guy tells you, you can only kill the Dragon Lord with Erdrick Sword. If you don't use Erdrick Sword, impossible. But if you kill the Dragon Lord with a club or something like that, and in the after game, you go and speak with this guy, he has a different text. He says, wow, you did it really with a club? You're the most awesome hero ever, something like that. He says like, whoa, I never thought that was possible. Da, 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 da. He has a different text. The game does notice that if you beat the Dragon Lord without using the Edric Sword. So now it's plan B. Plan B works like this. I do not use the Holy Protection. I meet this guy here. I flee from him. And now I have to meet the scorpion. I may do a quick save here just for kicks. I have to meet the scorpion now. Yes, and now I use it on the fight. Two. Did you see it? Two. So now I have the two that I need. The world is in order again. I can start using holy protections. Let's go. So this is the final stretch, honestly, it's actually the easiest part of the run. You just need to know what you're doing, meaning like you know you know the paths through the dungeons, and you do the it's right, but you can't really mess it up too much. 
if you don't, if you just follow the path correctly, and, and by that I don't mean a very exact path, I mean just like you go there as fast as you can, that's enough for a good run on the final stretch. The most difficult part is getting the seed right, right away, like on the spot, uh, and getting grind too correctly too. This is what the stuff. Everything else here is like, like the dead end is piece of cake. Compared to other Dragon Quest runs, this is an easy run. Okay, like I mean, speed runners or someone wanting to learn speed running should try this because it's really not complex and it's fun to, to discover the di different ways to, to load the enemies when you quick save and experiment with the paths so it's a pretty pretty cool run to, to try out or using the hpmp build instead of the other build and beating the during lord at level 18 goal so there, there's a lot of things that you can do here we do if we had a bigger community for this run, I would uh, suggest more alternative uh, routes percents, like the princess percent, where the objective is just to save the princess, or stuff, or similar stuff like a hundred percent fighting enemies. I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> this guy, <laughs> this guy was waiting for me. The holy protect. So let's use the ribbon drop in a very inefficient manner. So, there we go. Here, another detail. These guys, uh, the, the company here, Enix, was a bit of a cheapskate. Huh? Because, look, every Dragon Quest has this bridge appearing in many colors. They didn't do that here. It's a, it appears just like this. There are no colors. Notice that the rainbow drop too doesn't really appear like a special white and like they, they sort of sp spared on. This is from German. They economized. They they just didn't, you know, do stuff that's like so fast. Okay, I'm having a different set of encounters. This is fun. This is always cool. I will look at the vod later. Because I'm still looking for the best path here. I'm still looking how to do better do this stuff here. Uh, I noticed that me and Yuji, we get the same timing here. With a different path, so I'm afraid that it doesn't really matter how much you manipulate. You always get around 9 minutes and... Uh, 13 seconds in the Chinese version and the slightly more on this version. So, yeah. Uh, you could use Radiant if you wanted here. Oh, this is not good. This is not good at all. Getting this guy here that soon, bad for business. This is bad for business. I'm getting a different set of enemies. Cool. I don't know why, but. This guy, if it's, the, if it's the first time he appears, you have to, damn it, attack him. Shoot. This was a very close call. Yeah, like I said, if this guy appears like that, uh, <laughs> then you have to be careful. <laughs> Let's go. Now we go get Erdrick's Ward because we, re we really need it. There we go, yes! Given that my time is already bad, I'm gonna equip it now. But usually I only equip it when I have to open the menu just before the Dragon Lord. So. I'm having quite a peaceful time now, it's good because I do need the time to recover my HPs. I hope this is not who I think it is. It's not, yes. Because this guy, there is one time when he appears, you have to, you, you gotta have a feeling when that is. That you have to attack him and then you can flee. And, and if you don't do that, you're dead. <laughs> so, 
So that's so uh, there are a mage now. Oh shoot. Shoot. <laughs> Different enemies now, so I'm sort of being surprised a bit by the game. And I can't tell you guys why. I'm a bit, I'm really surprised now. I'm getting a different set of enemies, and I can't explain to you guys why this time. Because I did get that set once, ah, probably because I used the seed on the fight. Yes, that was it. When you use items, you move the range too, and that's the trick for, for example, uh, jumping the encounter there. And yes, yes. Oh, this is so good. This is so good. Landing here without inhabitants to... This is awesome. This is awesome, so... Let's do this, guys. You can't imagine how many times I had to fight this guy to get this routine. <laughs> but now we have it. Level 17. The Holy Grail. One... Now I have to concentrate. Two... Those three... Uh, cool. I have a bit, a bit more MP than usual. Cool. Mid heal. Four attacks. One. Come on, die. Die, please. Please die now. No, not, not, no. Don't do that. Yes. Yes. Okay. Great. Cool. So now, now there's the fun part. The part where we are glad we have a dragon scale. Look at that. Attack. Boom! One hit point. <laughs> Mid heal. And then he kicks us with heal again. And now we crit him. Stack! Critical! Boom! Yes, now we have to heal again. Now it's the, the Joker part. Haha! <laughs> we go attack. Heal. Attack. Now it's the ah uh, ah. Uh. Yeah. Heal. Uh, heal. And now we go back to basics. Ah uh ha! -huh. Attack. Heal. And then there is an uh, there is an alternative here that I'm not gonna use today. I'm gonna go for the. Spur variant. Heal attack. And then attack. And the last heal. And then now we start to pray. But actually it should work. Attack. And one more. And he dies. Yes! Woo! And the time is finished at the moment they start with the trumpets. Okay? So quite a slow run to be honest but i'm happy i'm glad i could show it to you guys and i hope it was a nice run to be seen that you had your fun so we returned to the castle without the princess and then noticed that she was forgotten there with the dragon and now i talk to the king and the moment where his the, the trumpets start we click kick we kick uh, we stop it and then so, it nailed it. I said I needed eh, 40 minutes. There we go. 40 minutes, 2 seconds. <laughs> wow. So, ho I hope you liked it. Yeah, I hope that it was fun. We had no surprises here. No wow moments. <laughs> so, that's good. This, this was a pretty, pretty cool. Let's do this run. Uh, if you want to see the Dragon Quest 2 run, which is way more range based, but way, way more, there's the luck, interesting enough, the Dragon Quest for the Switch run, the Dragon Quest 2, it's way more loyal to the other ones, but with the bugs fixed. So you can't do tricks that we usually do on the NES and SFC version. And range speed, range plays a real role there. And uh, I had moments like rage quitting by dying to three breaths from the final boss in a row like five times in a row <laughs> uh, it's a very fun run to see it, it's way longer than this one it takes uh, about two hours and a half 
Uh, if you do it right, if you do it wrong, it's three, three and a half, four. <laughs> and, and the last hour only on the boss. So <laughs> that can be also something for you guys to, yeah, to check out. Check out. Okay. And uh, yeah, role playing games, that's what my channel does. You know, like. We have mostly RPGs and Smash TV. That's something that has nothing to do with Dragon Quest, but which I play a lot too. I'm among the, the runners there on the top 20 and so, or Smash TV, the, the old the old SNES game. Uh, yeah, and some other, I, I like to say the Blue Helmet Club. Mega Man, Smash TV, and Dragon Quest, Roto, which has the Blue Helm. So if you guys like this kind of content, show up, you're welcome. Tem em português também, a MBC em Deutsch, que eu envia, um dos dias eu falei com você, alô, não, não tem problemas, hein, amigos, esprarram, language, just show up, talk whatever you want, <laughs> we, can, we can talk. Well, guess that's it, right? Guess I should say goodbye, the end, thank you very much. And bye bye. I don't know.